But when I started my undergrad, I had to make a choice, and I decided to go with the biology instead, because I, I figured I could use my abilities to something a little, little more than myself. I could actually contribute, and of course I feel very strongly about um, preservation of diversity, habitat loss, and global warming, and things like that. So it was something that I knew I could contribute to positively, whereas the art was essentially for myself. Um, most masturbatory to a degree. Uh, well, I lived in Guelph, Ontario for the longest time and I went to the University of Guelph and I found a professor there who was doing things that I found interesting in entomology and he decided he could find the funds to take me out to do a master's project and after that to do a PhD and I learned the trade from him. And then after that I did a postdoc at the Smithsonian uh, which was very useful because that exposed me to new ideas under different mentors. And then I did another postdoc in Sacramento, California for a while, and then I applied for the job here, and luckily I got it. You there did was a lot of training that, that got me here. Is it hard to find work when you get specialized like that? or Incredibly hard. Uh, you have to wait for somebody to retire or die, really. Uh, great see. My art teacher told me, you have a very, very special skill, artistic skill. So, you know, he was so, you know, encouraging me to continue drawing, you know. And uh, I thought I, I stay in Japan, you know, not so <laughs> interesting. So I thought, you know, best way is to come to Canada and uh, when I was reading the newspaper and the article was about the you know, Montreal Expo 67 and I read that article and it, it said if you have a good talent you'll be apply for the you know or apply for I an mean, immigration. So I thought, wow, it's a very good you know, opportunity to visit uh, Canada and uh, work with you know, Canadians, see how my skill you know, ranks, so to speak. You know, is it good enough? But uh, I went to Canadian Embassy in Tokyo and uh, they told me, you have a very good skill, you can find a job in Canada. No special training. No, I mean, training. We must be born with it. We can't train artistic skill. You know? I mean, nobody told me how to draw, how to make these things. What do you think about Jessica? Oh, Jessica is a very, very good artist and we are very, very happy to, you know, have her. Why does the smell of mothballs remind you of the Smithsonian, and why are you fond of it? <laughs> uh, I think that was when I first worked on insect illustrations during my internship. And I remember doing the work and thinking, I want to do this uh, as a job. I want to do this every day. I really love it. And just being in the atmosphere, the environment of constant mothballs, it, I think it just reinforced the idea that this is great, this is my, my future job. So whenever I smell mothballs, I think of I think fondly to my internship. <laughs> Did you like the smell of mothballs before? It was just okay. <laughs> and then you know I'm an old school, you know, artist. I just don't want to draw something with a computer or not. I just want to use my hand, you know? And I visited the Vatican Museum or, you know, Florence, you know, 400, 500 years ago, people made it, you know, with their, you know, hands. That's why I wanted to keep it, you know, keep it that way. And, uh, you know, I wanted to use my skill, but, uh, you know, high-tech, it's a sort of a new industrial you know, revolution. You know, entered and I learned, you know, co uh, choreo draw and other things. 
but I soon I realized, oh, it's not for me. Better to live, you know, right away. I want to use my hands, you know. I'm a very, very old <laughs> school, you know, artist. So what's the hardest thing to draw? Membranous things, things that are uh, very hard to see. Hmm, genitalia. Yeah, because there's, they've got so many complicated structures and as somebody who's not trained, a trained entomologist, I don't know all of the structures and what I'm looking for. So that's probably the hardest part. So have you learned a lot about fly genitalia? I show? have, more than I thought I would. Um, I have been reading up on fly genitalia and um, I'm definitely, definitely not an expert, but I'm slowly learning more and more about it. I like some notes of what the scientists told me to do. I write them down. Um, this is not necessarily for this, but yeah, I checked them off and I that to make sure I've done everything. And if I, I kind of step back and look at it, and if it generally looks okay to me, then I'll leave it. And I usually I'll come back to it in a few minutes or something and look at it again and see if I spot anything. Which I do spot something right now, so I'm gonna fix that. <laughs> This line should be a little thicker. Okay. So how often are um, scientists, illustrators at the same time? Usually they have to be because there's not a lot of alternatives. We used to have three artists here in the department. Uh, we've since lost all of them and only recently got one back. So there are very strong constraints on that side. So if you want to get something done, you're usually going to have to do it yourself. Even if I were given the option of having help for the illustrations, I probably wouldn't take it because I just enjoy doing it so much. So everybody has different preferences. I don't think the young people to, uh, learn this uh, you know, uh, skill anymore. Nowadays, take it take pictures and put it into a computer and, you know, next day, not, ne not next day, but the same day, you know, drawing it will be ready, you know, <laughs> it's so fast. I'm, you know, over 65 and, you know, it's time to do my own thing and to develop own things, you know, own ideas. That's why I started to do things. I did it, you know, before in Japan, in Tokyo, you know, when I was a, a teenager. My idea is material is cheap and, uh, you know, everybody has it, but uh, don't have the skill to make it or, you know, that's my purpose. Do you like recycling? Cycling? Recycling. Recycling. Oh, yes. Yes. Yes, I make just one garbage bag a year. Not many people do that. Um, I think I would like to stay on as a volunteer after I retire or whatever. Um, it's a really, it's a fun job and it's a good atmosphere. And if I'm not drawing, I would still like to be around insects and help out with mounting or whatever. So there's still a lot more for me to learn. And by that point, hopefully, I'll be able to contribute more non-artistic things. So is it strange during dinner party conversations when you say that most of your days are spent drawing genitalia or...? Uh, well people who know me usually get that pretty early so they, they understand it's how I make a living and it's a fun way to make a living. I think people are generally quite happy to know that people can be strange and make money out of it. So what's it like bringing up this topic during like a dinner table conversation. It's hilarious because I people ask me what I do and then I'll, I'll joke and I say I draw genitalia all day <laughs> and, and the look on their face is like what why are you drawing genitalia and then I say oh it's, it's bug genitalia <laughs> and I draw other bugs too but it's mostly genitalia. <laughs> Doesn't really improve it does it? <laughs> I guess not.